can't beat him, join him. We're back on the ground. Today we're going to be fighting Ned in three frames of connection. I'm going to be grinding my f**k off to make sure that the events that, that happened two days ago never happens ever again. I guess we can just play and talk for now. Because I guess there's a, there's a lot to talk about, huh? Because the event in general was great. I think the event overall, dude, <laughs> one day 16 man double elimination was insane. It all happened so quickly. First match going into it, I had to fight Guto. And I think that match was just genuinely unwinnable. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it's, it was so... <sighs> Tell me why I'm seeing Bancazia right after winning that set. And then immediately after, I'm like, I lost. I'm just like, people just don't talk about it anymore. I'm just like, come on, man. <laughs> like, what? Like, really, dude? Did people actually want to cause you a ban? Like, we both got 9th and 13th, man. Yeah, what a bannable character, dude. <laughs> and also, who other, which other Kazuya is, like, pulling out as many results as me? I guess there's Furps, but he went 0-2 as well. Not to discredit him, I, I think he's really good. T? Yeah, T's crazy solo Kazuya runs at majors. Terrorizing this game, winning every single major, dude. <laughs> totally not just a, a, like a secondary for a couple matchups. He definitely uses Kazuya for every single matchup. He definitely didn't lose to a Lucario at some local. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, T. I love you. But still, man. Like, people just see the broken shit, I guess. But they don't think of the, about, like, the full picture. This character has weaknesses. And people just, like, refuse to acknowledge them. They're just like, nah, man, this character literally zero weaknesses. What, how do you lose? Okay, first of all, let me say this. Him taking execution is a legitimate weakness in tournament. People might count this as whining, but think about it. Think about tournament scenario. A character that takes execution is inherently going to do worse in tournament. That's just a fact. That's just, that's not me, like, sucking. That's just human nature. <laughs> is that not human nature? Everyone in Tekken agrees. Oh, it's the, it's the same logic. It's the same sh and obviously, there's not many characters in this game that have execution needs, so I don't think they, like, really understand until you actually play it. His disadvantage sucking is real. His recovery being exploitable is real. Or, like, it's possible to be exploited. Uh, especially without double jump. Him getting ledge trapped is super real, but people just refuse to acknowledge that. I genuinely feel like I played really good this tournament, despite my placement. That's one thing that's like sort of weird that I think about. I don't think I played bad. I think I actually played really good. Like close to my big house run. Like I, I felt it. I felt like I was playing really good. Shout out to the f mod for making me playing way better because I can actually practice now. Before this tournament, I said to myself, I'm either going 1-2 or I'm winning the tournament. And <laughs> obviously we know which result happened. Dude, I swear to God, if I actually beat Leo though, I actually low-key won that tournament. On the, on the high... Not even low key, high key. <laughs> or maybe not high key, but I think I would have gone pretty far. It's just rough, you know? You get reverse 3 0 by a matchup you've never seen. And it's just like, man. And he's the best player in the world at it. When do I fight Marth, dude? When the f do I fight Marth, man? <laughs> I don't, bro. I don't fight Marth, dude. Spargo's on another level. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I would have beat Spargo, is, is the thing. He was playing really, really good. The clouds. Oh, my God. Cloud is so good, dude. I still think I can do it with Kazuya. I still believe in myself with this character. I was thinking, I was kind of messing around with a bunch of other characters. Like after the tournament, I was messing around with a bunch of characters. And uh, I was messing around with a lot of Joker. But I, again, like character, character wasn't an issue. It's, it's all in here, it's all me. Going into the Leo side, I felt like really good. I know, I go up 2-0 against his Byleth. My execution's on point. And then he goes Marth. Marth? Wait, he just... Leo went March. Oh, the Classico. We bring it back. And I'm just like, what the f is this? I, I didn't know what to think of that. Or... I didn't know what to think of what was going on. My execution was so good game one and two. And then I lose game three. And then my execution just... Like, literally just died. I had no execution in game three, four, and five. Game five, I, I choked so much. I choked so much with this character. I don't know if it's the character nature. Or if it's just me sucking. I think it's probably both. Probably a combination of both. But man, it's hard sometimes, you know? He just he's just better player than me as well. Alongside of the fact that I didn't know the matchup, it's just a terrible combination. <sighs> I really got made fun of for losing to Leo. 
<laughs> like, I know it's Marth, but I really got, like, I know it's like, I shouldn't think too much about it, honestly. I could've just off smash. what am I doing? This is how I lost the Leo. This is how I lost the Leo, dude. Oh my god. That is actually exactly how I lost the Leo. What the f**k? I got upward. <laughs> yeah, no. If I, if I fight Leo again, I'm f**king on him. I'm saying that right now. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna study that set. I'm gonna study that VOD. I'm gonna look at the ins and outs. Why I lost. And I'm literally never losing to him. That's what's gonna happen. I'm not setting up beef, by the way. This is just... We're friends. Like, I, I, I'm just saying. But I will beat him next time. No. You gotta, you gotta have that confidence. You can't just say, Oh, no. I, I, I'll never beat him again. You know what I mean? That's beta mentality. And then right after that, my mentality, I mean, I still honestly think I recomposed myself pretty well considering the fact that I lost the f***ing Marth. That's mo that motherfucker, bro. I swear to God, he promised me in last that he's going to bring back the Joker. And he, I, he, he said it like a trillion times. Oh, yeah, yeah, I promise I'll bring back the Joker for less big moves. I'm just like, you better. You better. You got to stop trolling. I know you I know you reversed real me with Marth, but you went 0-2 right after. So you, you better. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got three. You got you got three old by Shuton. You haven't took a single game from Shuton, bro. Something's gotta change, dude. I was literally playing against Leo. I'm just like, why do you not play this character? <laughs> Motherfucker is a troll, dude. He's just trolling us. He's gonna bring it out when he, when someday. Dude, Loki, I should have switched to Terry against Leo's Marth. I'm really good at that matchup. I should have went Terry. God damn it, bro. And it, it's so good because like you know, Marth just wants to like space aerials and. Shit. But crack shoot is like the perfect answer for that. I don't know why I didn't go Terry, man. I'm dumb. I need to stop. I need to stop playing one character. <laughs> it's just not possible, bro. It's just not. It's really not. I need to bring back the Terry for some matches, dude. And I don't really know whether Kazi or Terry is better versus Steve. Like that, that's such a weird thing because they both have different things for going for them. I also think I still go Terry for this matchup too. To be quite honest with you. Like, it's still doable with Kazuya, but it's a lot harder. I walk up to Mango after the tournament. This is like after, you know, after like Amso won melee. And I, I walk up to him. How do you not get unwashed? <laughs> or how do you get unwashed in the, or in, in, you know, just in Smash? How do you get washed? Because like, Mango was... I feel like I'm in... Because obviously I'm not doing as well as I was doing before. Which is natural. I think that just happens in, in competitive play for everyone. You know what I mean? Like, you just have, everyone has slumps. Everyone... Not everyone plays at their peak. It just is what it is. Um, and I asked him and he said, he told me, he told me, put the ego away. And there was another thing if I forgot. <laughs> There's another thing he said, but I forgot what he said, dude. Oh yeah, no, he, I, I remember what Mango said. I remember what Mango said. Mango also said, use this loss as motivation to never lose again or to do better at the next tournament. That's what he said. That's what he said. I remember. It's either I, I give up here, you know, never go to another tournament or I keep streaming. I go to more tournaments and eventually I win again. Eventually, because it will happen eventually. That's just how it works. Eventually you beat Leo's Marth. That's happening this That's happening on Mills Big Moves Miami, dude. Oh yeah, me Leo promised me two things. Leo promised me two things. He promised me one that he'll go back to playing Joker. Or like he'll play him again, he'll be playing more, right? We're gonna make Let's Make Moves Moves Grand Finals, us two. He and him grand finals, dude. So I, I gotta keep that promise. I gotta I gotta grind up. That's some animation. You need it though. You need to you need to inspire you. Yeah, that's why I wasn't that mad, because like I just thought to myself, dude, I'm just gonna go home and practice. <laughs> that's literally just all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go home and just go from there. 